I'm gonna show you guys a super duper cool magic trick, okay? You throw your cardstock booklet down and your vinyl, wait a minute, that didn't work. Okay, let's try again. Okay, you're gonna pick it up and then you're gonna bang it, oh, bang it. What? Oh, there we go. Hee hee. Just kidding. If only it was that simple, we're actually going to have to do the work. Guys, get serious. You're already distracted me and we just started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our cardstock paper and we are going to cover it with holographic vinyl. I got this vinyl at Michael's um, or Hobby Lobby. I don't know, but I know that they both carry it, okay? Um, if not, this is a super, super popular holographic vinyl. Honestly, everyone carries it. So you should be fine unless you wanted to do like a different holographic, like a pink. Ooh, that would be so cool. Okay, moving on. So I just kind of measured the, um, I kind of laid the holographic vinyl over the cardstock paper so that I would know where to cut, right? To get the right measurement. It wasn't exact, but you know, nothing in my tutorials are you know, anytime you come here, you just got to know this is the Walmart value uh, tutorials. And it's okay, guys. It's okay. I'm okay with it. It's who I am. So we're going to peel back a little bit of the backing, okay? Um, I don't know where my hands are right now. Oh, there they are. So we're going to start peeling off just a little bit of the backing and we're gonna attach little by little. I would do not recommend using a squeegee because you are going to scratch the holographic vinyl. If you wanted to take a soft microfiber little towel um, to rub out the bubbles, you can. I used my fingers, I don't have long nails anymore, um, so I didn't make any uh, scratches or anything like that. I just rubbed my sausage grease onto the scrap, the holographic paper, but I rubbed it off. So. Feel free to use a one of those like fiber, fiber, you know what I'm talking about? Those little fiberglass, no, not fiberglass. You know what I'm talking about. The little soft fiber towels. Any hoodly, you can use that or your sausage fingers. I am gonna clean this up as you can see. Not that I wanna brag, I'm gonna stay humble, but there's no bubbles or anything like that. Ooh, look at that. See, I'm taking the little fiber towel and I am just cleaning off my sausage fingerprints. I'm eventually gonna get fingerprints all over this again, but we're gonna keep using that little towel to clean up the um, scrap, not, the why do I keep saying scrapbook paper? This is vinyl. Okay, you guys, so now I'm just gonna cut off the excess, okay? And then this right here is what we are going to lay on our Cricut mat. So you don't have to use this exact holographic vinyl. You can use a pattern vinyl if you want. You could use glitter vinyl. You could use whatever you want. We are gonna move on to cutting the dragon scales. Okay, so I purchased my file on Etsy. It's super easy, guys. If you guys just type in dragon scale SVG, a million pop up, but I am gonna link this one for you, okay? So when it comes to sizing, since I have to use so many dragon scales to cover this cup, I went ahead and just sized my um, file to be just about the size of the Cricut cutting mat. I sized it just a tiny bit smaller uh, just to not have any issues or to not cut it too close. I will link the exact measure, or not link, but I will type in the exact measurement that I used uh, in the description in case you guys wanna do the exact size that I did, but if you guys size it to be just a little bit smaller than the actual Cricut mat, you should be fine because you want you want to get you want to be able to cut as many dragon scales as you can at one time. It's just faster, okay? It's just easier that way, and it utilizes all of the material. So we are going to use double-sided tape. I am going to link the double-sided tape that I purchased. I got it on Amazon, okay? Um, I think it's just under an inch wide, definitely. Um, but I will go ahead and link the exact one that I used. Now, this process right here is gonna be a little bit tedious. I'm not gonna lie. One of my sweet, sweet, sweet friends, Jen's Crafted Gems, I'm sure you know who she is. She is the queen of dragon scales. She actually taught me last year how to apply dragon scales to my tumblers. Um, she was so sweet. She sat on FaceTime with me last, I believe it was in September, and taught me how to apply dragon scales. So thank you so much for that, boo. You're the best. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys the way that she taught me because I just think it is so much easier than doing it the Mod Podge way, which I think is a lot more tedious. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this double-sided tape 
and we are going to put it all the way around the tumbler and we're going to use our exacto knife to to make a little cut every single time both ends of the uh, double-sided tape meet but basically you guys you want to do this all the way to the very bottom of the tumbler okay i'm gonna let you guys listen to a little song because you guys already know how much i love my musica and i'll be right back so we can move right along to the next step you lift my heart up when the rest of me is down you you enchant me even when you're not around if there are boundaries i will try to not on babe now I know what I have found I feel we're close enough I wanna lock in your love baby I think we're close enough could I lock in your after 365 days of waiting for my Cricut to finally cut the scales, we are all done. I'm going to bend my mat a little bit so that it helps them come off easily. And then I'm going to take my little scraper spatula tool that I got with my Cricut machine and scrape them off. Once I have them all off, we're going to remove the top layer of the double-sided tape at the very bottom of the cup. I'm holding the cup upside down right now so it looks like the top but it is in fact the bottom of the tumbler. So we're gonna expose the first two lines and then we are going to start placing our dragon scales. Make sure that they are pointing down, okay? And we are going to try to line them up as best as we can with the bottom of the tumbler. Now, I know that you can see the white in between each scale, but don't worry about that, you guys, because we are going to use this gorgeous, gorgeous glitter uh, to... Uh, put on the top and the bottom so you're not going to be able to see that okay so don't worry about that too much right now let's just worry about getting our dragon scales on and we want them all to point down okay you guys we're going to point them all down I was having a little bit of technical difficulties right here because I had little fuzzies everywhere but it's fine it's all fine we made it through uh, of course I am going to be doing a lot of time lapses you guys because you do not need to stare at my fat ass chorizo looking hands for an hour and watch me painfully place each one of these dragon scales now yes it is a little bit tedious but you know i i think that if you just have good music in the background or if you're watching a netflix show um it can actually be pretty therapeutic and go by pretty fast um in my opinion this is why it's so much better to do it with double-sided tape so shout out again to my sweet friend from jen's, jen's crafted gems for teaching me this hack um because i couldn't imagine having to place these scales one by one and still having to try to mess with um some mod podge so nobody got time for that honey we've got a lot of ratchet activities to move on to we can't be wasting time doing peasant shit okay so Double-sided tape is where it's at, you guys. And now you're basically gonna see me make my way down, no, actually make my way up, make my way up to the up to the top of the tumbler by just repeating the same process. I was removing uh, one to two lines at a time, okay? Removing the backing off of the double-sided tape and just placing the dragon scales. Now, what you want to do is whenever you place your very first row of dragon scales, the one that goes above, you want to place one rhinestone, not rhinestone. We're not rhinestoning. Oh my gosh, I'm on autopilot. I need coffee. <laughs> you want to place one dragon scale in between, okay? So do you see the pattern that we're creating right here with the dragon scales? Do you see how the next row up, I am placing each dragon scale in between the gap that is left from the line below. You want to follow this entire pattern all the way up the cup, and this is what's gonna give you that nice full coverage. I do apologize right here that the cup is almost out of frame, you guys. I promise to be more careful with that. Look how beautiful this is looking, okay? And you just wanna basically keep up this same process all the way till you get to the very top of the rim and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, okay? But basically you place your line of dragon scales and then the line above it, you wanna place a dragon scale 
in between each gap, okay? And we're gonna do this all the way up to the very top of the rim. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh no, Myra, the very top of the dragon scale is poking up. Don't you worry your pretty little heart out. It'll give you wrinkles, okay? You let me worry about that. I'm gonna show you. We are gonna take our X-Acto knife, but first let's admire it. Like, that was so shiny. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife and we're gonna slippity slice the very tippy top of the dragon scale, okay? Now, I'm gonna leave a little bit of um, space in between uh, the rim and the dragon scale so I can get a nice seal with epoxy. And also, I'm not too worried about the white line because we are going to do glitter over it. So, you just wanna go all the way around the tumbler and just slice off all the tips, okay? Next, I'm gonna scrub off my sausage little fingerprints off of the tumbler by taking my microfiber rag and just wiping off all my fingerprints, getting it nice and clean as much as I can, okay? Look at that, wow, so shiny. I am gonna seal it twice with clear glaze, okay? And then once that those two coats are dry, we're gonna put it on our turner and we are gonna apply Quick Coat from CCDIY. Now, what Quick Coat does, and this is just a personal preference, you do not have to use Quick Coat if you don't want to, but what I love about Quick Coat is that it helps everything lay even more flat. Chunky glitter, dragon scales, and it also provides a really nice seal so that when you go in with your first coat of epoxy, um, those dragon scales aren't gonna absorb all of the all of the epoxy, okay? So I did two coats of that quick coat, uh, and then when they were both completely dry, I went in with my very first coat of epoxy. I pippity popped all the bubbles, let it spin for 24 hours. Look at that. It's so shiny and glossy and pity. So now we are going to do a very thin, thin, as thin as me. Eh, just kidding. I'm thicker than a snicker. We're going to do a very thin coat of epoxy. And this is going to be so that we can adhere our glitter, okay? Um, but we don't want our glitter to be slippity sliding everywhere, which is why we need to make sure that we have a very, very thin coat. Uh, you guys, the other day, my husband was trying to say thicker than a snicker. And he said, honey, I'm thicker than a sneaker. And I was like, honey, um, that's not, you're supposed to say thicker than a snicker. You can't say thicker than a sneaker. That, <laughs> he's so cute. Ah, you guys would be obsessed with him if you knew him in real life. Okay, so now we're gonna take our beautiful glitter. It's called Reina from Glitterful. It is freaking phenomenal. I will have a little discount code for you guys in the description so you can save money for ratchet activities. Oh, so guys, I when I was sprinkling this glitter, I was like, how in the heck is this glitter the literal exact color of the holographic vinyl? It could not have been a more perfect match, okay? Um, so I am completely enamored. Like, look at that, you guys. That is so pretty. It matches perfectly. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessing right now. Now I wanna tell you guys about my sweet friend, Catherine. She is the owner and creator behind KH Creations Designs. I came across her TikTok a while ago and I saw a beautiful opal dragon scale cup that she made and I said, sis, can I recreate this and make it a YouTube video because it is fucking fire? And she was so sweet about it. So I'm gonna link her TikTok in the description of my video. I'm also gonna link Jen's Crafted Gems uh, TikTok in the description of my video. Those two beauty queens both had everything to do with this beautiful tumbler coming together. So I definitely wanna give them credit. And uh, yeah, let's normalize empowering one another and like chow excuse me, chowding, <laughs> shouting each other out because that's what life is all about. Okay. So uh, moving on, you guys, once the epoxy completely dried, um, I used fast set. So I waited a couple of hours. I went in with polycrylic to seal the glitter just because I didn't want it to move everywhere uh, when I went in to apply my coat of epoxy. So I did one coat of polycrylic over the glitter and then let it dry and then I applied epoxy, and then 24 hours later, here we are. There's a little bit of a fupa at the bottom. I've been having issues with my turners lately. Um, I'm currently in the process of fixing the issue, but anytime that you have any lumps on your tumblers, it is always because your cup is uneven, or your turner is uneven, or something is uneven. So just make sure that you use a hand sander uh, to get that sanded down so that it looks nice and beautiful um, in the end, okay? 
So we're gonna seal with one final coat of epoxy after we sand it. We're gonna let it spin for 24 hours and here she is, you guys. I hope you love it just as much as I do. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, besitos. And by next time, I mean see you at Tuesday's tutorial.